Hey everybody, it's Brandon here. I'm using the 2011 MacBook Air that I installed Zorn OS on, and it's actually been running pretty good on this thing. Um, my son's been using it to learn programming. I've been teaching him, so it works pretty good for that. I got a request to check out Zorn Connect, which is a way to pair your phone to Zorn OS in order to... Uh, there's a bunch of interactions you can supposedly do with them. I haven't tried it yet. But, uh, so what I did on Android, this only works on Android as far as I know. I downloaded from Google Play the app called Zorn Connect. And when you open it, it found my MacBook Air instantly. So that's a good sign. And there's a button that says Request Pairing. I'm getting ready to tap on it and we're going to see what it does. Something came up right away. I hit Accept. We'll see what it does now. No storage locations configured. Maybe there's something I got to do on my phone. I don't know. It actually just gave me a bunch of options right away, so we'll see what it does. I click on remote input. Oh, so right now I'm moving the mouse, my finger around on the screen, and it's acting like a uh, trackpad for the computer. That's kind of cool. So to go back, I'm going to say, let's see, send files. Let's see if I could send a file to my laptop. Here is just a, oh, what do I got here? Click, oh, wow, that was instant. So I clicked on send file, it happened pretty much instantly. Let me try a bigger file, if I can find one. Here's a picture of a pizza I made the other day. Open folder. Yeah, I mean, that works pretty good. As you guys saw, I've never used this before. Don't judge the pizza, by the way. It's not my best work. <laughs> But yeah, um, I did almost nothing to set this up. I booted up the app, I clicked on request pairing, you saw it on the screen, it instantly came up. And this is just over Wi-Fi. Uh, there's another option called Slideshow Remote. I don't know what this does. I guess if you uh, had a presentation, like a PowerPoint, or a, it wouldn't be PowerPoint on this, but maybe a LibreOffice, you could control it here. There's something called Multimedia Control. I guess if... Um, I had media on here, I could control it, like there's play, pause, back, forth, things like that. There's a send file which I test, and a run command. It looks like you can input a terminal command if you want, so that's kind of neat. And it says, there's other options if I give the app permissions. There's send SMS, which I don't have a SIM card in this phone right now, so I'm not really going to be able to test that. There's an option to contact, to synchronize contacts. Um, Synchronize notifications, synchro synchronize phone calls, some plugins let you expose the Android file system, share and receive. So anyway, you guys saw this. If you use Zorin and you have an Android, I'd say might as well get this app because, I mean, frankly, it took like one second to set up and it works pretty good. So that's just a quick look here at a Zorin Connect on, a, on an Android phone and on Zorin OS 16. It seems to work pretty good in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's just one more cool thing you can do with Zorn OS. If you're interested in Zorn OS, uh, check out some of the other Zorn videos I have on this channel. I did one recently about how to enable automatic backups on this thing. I've done a review of Zorn, Zorn OS Core, which is what this is, and the Lite Edition, which I don't particularly recommend, but um, it's there if you're interested in that. So yeah, if you have any other questions about Zorn, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them. If you're also interested in Chrome OS, we talk a lot about Chrome OS Flex on this channel. Subscribe for that. Otherwise, I'm glad you watched. Thanks for uh, being here. And until next time, well, I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.